to remember that each and, each and every one of us here are here because our leaders, our elected leaders, and the leaders in our communities felt it was important that we're here. So our leaders are here because we're going to go back and tell them what, what happened here today. So Heitzkasiem, who's in the we like to call Joe Gatos from the Sea Doc Society. Forward, please. Thank you. My name is Joe Gatos. And in the spirit of Billy Frank, AKA Bono, rock star, <laughs> on Sunday night said, tell the truth. So I think I'll have to start there. Larry and Ray were honest when they said that we committed to this before we knew what we were doing. <laughs> and last time I was a witness, a whole bunch of people went to jail. <laughs> My first thought was maybe they didn't have a witness pr protection program this time. <laughs> but I spoke with Chief Lydia, and she told me about the Coast Salish witness ceremony and what it meant to the Coast Salish to be able to transmit information in an oral history over time and how it worked. And I'm honored to participate in this. Um, and I think that the fact that this call to action is being delivered as a Coast Salish ceremony is a sign to all of us of the importance, it's very long overdue, of recognizing the importance of the knowledge of the people who have been here since this place began. So I first would like to thank the Coast Salish for that. And since I'm a Coast Salish for the day, and Ray said they like to thank everybody. I'd like to thank you guys for being here, not just for following through to the end, but for taking time out of your busy lives to be here. And I'd like to go a step further and give thanks to the people who made this possible, the organizers of the conference, the people who so graciously served us, the people who made our food, people who made the clothes that we're wearing today, built the building, made the roads, all of those people, and I think in giving thanks at that level, it seems absurd sometimes, but it helps us to recognize that we're all interconnected. I think a lot of times, at least as Americans, we have a very independent spirit. But every day we go through life and we're dependent on so many things we fail to realize. We're dependent on that other person not crossing the middle line of the road. We're depending on the people who are bringing us food that we're shopping for. We're depending on the people who came before us that enabled us to be here. And I think when you give thanks at that level and you see the connectivity and the interdependence, then it makes you realize that we're really all in this together. And what I've heard at this conference a lot is there's been people discussing, what is this call to action? This definitely doesn't mean more science. This definitely doesn't mean more monitoring. But really, why do we always separate ourselves out so much? As Lydia said, we're really more similar than we are different. We're 95% chimpanzee, right? So we have a lot of similarity between us. And I think as long as we can look at that and acknowledge our interdependence and acknowledge our similarities, then we don't get into these discussions about do we need more science, do we need more action, do we need more policy, because the answer is yes. The call to action is for all of those things to, to progress forward and progress forward at a more rapid rate than they've been happening already. And I think we're all here because of a place. And if you, whether you call that place the name of the beach in front of your house, or you call that place Puget Sound or the Georgia Basin, whether you call yourself American or Canadian or Coast Salish, it's all the same place that we're talking about. We're talking about a 17,000 square kilometer inland sea that has an arbitrary border, international border that goes right in between. And I think we need to look at that as a sense of place because we're also here because of a vision. We have a vision to take this place and to design a healthy ecosystem, a healthy Salish Sea. And I think we need to look at it on that level with this call to action to say, look, we're here for a mission. This is a giant experiment in place-based conservation. We don't have any place to look to and to say, wow, we're going to do it just how they've done it. We, we're making it up as we go along. And that really is the call to action as we move forward. And place-based conservation, it was brought up earlier, it's to know, to connect, and protect. And we need science to know. There are things we know about, there are things we don't know about. 
And we also need to transmit and translate that scientific information to connect people to this area, to make people understand what's going on, how we're connected to the ecosystem, and that's what's going to change the collective consciousness of all of the people in this area. And we also we need to protect the area, and that protection will come through a change in collective consciousness, and it'll also come through a change in laws. And as a regional director of the CDOC Society, my responsibility goes from the work that we do goes from Olympia to, to Campbell River, and we're about people and science for healing the sea. People and science, not just science, because science by itself just sits on the shelf or just takes up gigabytes of data on your hard drive. It's really about getting that information out there so people can use it and people can be inspired. And this call to action reminds me that we need to the CDOC Society and the work that we do, we need to renew our focus, keep it on the Salish Sea, keep it on the science, but also on the transmission and the translation of that science for other things. And I hope that all of you can look at this call to action and find something in there that fits you and something that you can recognize that everything that we do is going to be important because we're all connected. And so I thank you all for being here.